Hey guys, Longshot here, and this video today is going to be more for the Viper users. The guys that have the F-16 module uh, saw that in the last update we had the AGM-65 and the Harm. So in this video I'm going to use the AGM-65 Golf and the Harm. In the mission today we have intelligence on Iranian ship that carries out illegal arms from the Persian Gulf. We need to take it out. This is going to be for the Maverick and an early warning radar station that on the Dubai side that we need to take out. Also Iranian. This is going to be for the harm. It's going to be a long flight. We're going to have uh, air refueling in the middle. I'm going to talk later during this video. And the takeoff is going to be a little bit cinematic. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so after a long night flight, uh, we're pretty much out of fuel, so we need uh, more fuel. We have a tanker waiting for us here. I'm gonna activate the air to air attack, and in order to find it, he's on channel 1, already uh, already in the DD. You can see it on the DD page. Uh, now I'm gonna go to my fuel page on the DD so we can see the total amount uh, while we are refueling. On the HSI, I'm gonna put the tech end page so I can see how to navigate to the tanker. and. Now I'm going to give order to my uh, wingman to go ahead and refuel. I'm going to follow him. I'm going to be the second one to refuel.
engage with the horn. I'm going to enter ground mode and I'm going to turn on the horn. And now, before we go to the weapon page, I want to go to the TGP because I got an option to see if I have a good effect on target. And two reasons I want to do that is obviously to see if I, could, I have a good effect on target. And the other one, I want to engage from a higher perspective as I can uh, because it's on the peak of a mountain. So I don't want the harm to be confused and overshoot or something like that. So uh, I can close in and I can do that because it's an early warning system and not a SAM. So I can uh, close in and shoot it from uh, pretty far, pretty close. Uh, now I'm going to go to the weapon page. Uh, on the weapon page, this is where you manage the harm. So I'm going to uh, soy this uh, MFD. And now I'm going to change the tables and I'm going to... Table 3, we got the S, the early warning system. And I'm going to choose only that because I know what I'm searching for. And I'm going to restart the search. It's going to be 13 seconds, I think. And uh, that's it. It's going to find it uh, pretty quickly. There it is. Now I'm going to put... I'm going to slew my... Uh, my cursor on that, TMS up, and that's it. The harm is locked on the target. Now I'm gonna push a little bit further uh, to the range that I want to engage in, and that's it. And Magnum. All right, let's wait for the missile to hit. Oh. Oh yeah, that's a hit, that's uh, TMS left will change the mode of the flare. Now it's on TV and you can see we have a direct hit. Good job, let's go to use the Maverick. Alright, I want to touch up on an, uh, one thing, one really important thing when using uh, all the things that we have here. So you see this line from waypoint uh, 2 to 3 to 4 to 5. Uh, this is the route that we know that the ship is going to take. This is its heading basically. So we're right here in the, where the blue marker is, is. and I want to go, and I'm going to go about uh, 40 miles to the north of uh, Waypoint 2 in order to use this uh, route that I know that the ship is going to take as a straw view. This is what we call when you're using high-powered electro-optical uh, stuff, you know, all the, we got a bunch of uh, observation stuff and lasing stuff and whatever. So when using those kind of tools, you want to have uh, a straw view. You want to have a narrow field of view so your uh, scan will be better. Because if I'm going to scan all that line uh, from where I'm at, yeah, I'm going to waste a bunch of time just scanning and I'm not going to be able to find anything. So you want a narrow field of view to scan and use the up and down more than the left and right, if it makes any sense. All right, now on the Mavic page, we're going to put it on pre-planned target. And then I'm going to turn on the Maverick. Um, the Maverick, after I turn it on, it's going to be, I think, three minutes for him to spool up. But I'm still going to go to the weapon page. Uh, the next thing after, uh, yeah, you can see it's not timed out yet. Now I'm going to go to the TG, oops, sorry, to the targeting pod uh, page. Let's put it back on the weapon page. There we go. Okay, and here, uh, from the north of Waypoint 2, I'm ready to scan in the straw view uh, to see if I can get the ship. Ooh, that was pretty quick. <laughs> I thought it's going to be uh, further down the road, but yeah, the ship moves pretty slow, I guess. Alright, this is the ship. Uh, we're going to lock it up. Once the Maverick is going to be ready, uh, we need to change uh, the targeting part from manual to auto. It's really important right here put in an auto and now it's gonna automatically feed uh, the data to the Maverick and once we're gonna lock the targeting part basically the Maverick will be locked on and ready to go. Alright, let's wait for him to spool up and I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, so the Maverick is ready. I'm gonna lock the target. Uh, I'm in the TGP. TMS up will lock the target and there we go. Now the target is uh, locked. Uh, it fed the first information to the Maverick, but before we'll engage and when we get to range, I'll do do this again, TMS up, in order to feed the uh, uh, right before launch correct information to the Maverick, as you're gonna see in a moment here. Uh, so once you lock the target, you have this bracket to the right hand side of the HUD and also on the Maverick page, and above it you'll have the distance. I want to launch 11 miles away from the target, uh, I'm going to wait for me to close into this range. In the meantime, I'm going to point my nose a little bit down and uh, fine-tune the jet to align to the target to have like a perfect uh, a perfect shot to so the Maverick will be 
uh, had a better track, will have better track and not will struggle so much. So, all right, we're gonna shoot in about a second here. All right, now as you can see, the Maverick is no longer tracking, so TMS up again to feed him the correct information and rifle. All right, missile away. Target destroyed. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks a bunch. Next video, I'm gonna use the bore side modes on, on the Mavericks and uh, see how it goes. All right, have a good one. See you later. Bye.